Hi, I'm Adam Fields. I'm a chiropractor and you probably know that one of my greatest missions in life is getting your nose open and keeping it open. I use balloons. I have people get ozone therapy in their nose. I'm working on the mucosa, on the probiotics inside of there, getting rid of inflammation inside the nasal passages, getting rid of scar tissue, adhesions, etc. But one of the greatest benefits is the increase in nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a chemical that's released when you breathe through your nose. You don't get it when you breathe through your mouth. It is phenomenal. It increases vasodilation. So think about it. It's good for blood pressure because your, your blood vessels become more pliable. It's great for inflammation. It's even great for cognitive function, allowing more blood to go up to the brain. And think about this one. All of the erectile dysfunction drugs are basically to help nitric oxide, help the expansion of the blood vessels down in the private area, and help guys perform better. Very interesting. So a lot of times people will have problems down there. You open up their breathing. Oh my gosh, I'm benefiting there. So nitric oxide, it improves heart function. It helps, as I said, blood pressure, even immunity, cognitive function get a good workout. It can help in weight loss, improve digestion. It can get rid of anxiety. Anxiety often is not enough blood in, in an area, not enough oxygen, right? A lot of people with anxiety come in, their ribs are tight, they're not breathing, they're not getting air. Well, think about the blood vessels not expanding and not giving that oxygen to different parts of the body. The heart's gonna go faster, the breath rate's gonna go up. So we want to breathe through our noses. We can breathe really fast and a ton through our mouths, but not get the actual oxygen levels up that we can breathing through our noses. So a lot of you, you're wondering, how do I get to breathe through my nose besides coming and seeing me? I, you know, it's great to start with my sleep apnea videos and then also try some mouth tape. If you have a beard, there are straps that go here, uh, chin straps, they call them for sleep, and you can put them on and you can get yourself driving that system. If you don't use it, you lose it. If you don't use your nose, it will start to collapse and get gunky in there and shut down. So we wanna drive the system. If that's too much, if that's scary, okay, I'm not gonna sleep with mouth tape. Uh, mouth tape's actually quite good for your relationships also sometimes. No, just kidding. So if, if you don't wanna sleep with it, what you can do is you can start, just, just take an hour walk or, or just, just tape your mouth for an hour during the day. If you can go for an hour during the day, chances are you can go at night. And a lot of them are crossed like this and they have, if you need to cough or yawn or something, the air can come out there. If you need to grab it in the middle of the night and just pull it off, you can do that. So anyway, there's your, your pitch for nose breathing, please. Your, your mouth is for talking and for chewing food. Your nose is for breathing. Keep it up, people. Use that nose.